Welcome to Let's Talk About That, the show about the show. I'm Stevie, and we've named our entire galaxy after the secretions of a cow's udder. This week's guests are the reason for those don't get in the pool with active diarrhea signs. Please welcome Rhett and Link. How'd you know? <laughs> oh, <laughs> there's a couch there. We've put a couch there now. Hello, gentlemen. There's a leg there. Welcome to this Saturday. You're actually supposed to wait. Technically, <sighs> at least at the Rose Bowl pool, <laughs> you're supposed to wait like a week after you had diarrhea before you get back in. Yeah. Well, I shortened it for the intro, but I could say are the reason for those active diarrhea within a week yeah. signs. But what is that? Is that because they, people may not have, be completely I think it's because the, there's, <laughs> there's, there's, it there's, there's, there's a poo-poo's. You know? There's residuals. There's some little poo-poos coming out. Yeah. Ew. And you guys are the little poo-poos in this case. <laughs> um, also, I really liked that. the submitted intro, but then I Googled it, and technically, because, you know, they're referencing the Milky Way. Oh, I The Milky Way, yes. But. That's what it was. It's actually not true that That's it's. That's a candy bar. A, it's a, <laughs> yeah. Not really um, milk. No, I yeah, thought this yeah. was interesting, and I think it reads as something that we all probably knew at one point when we were taught it, and then we forgot it, like all those great lessons from school that you should totally learn. Yeah, see in school. Um, the Romans named the galaxy Via Lactea, which translates to Road of Milk, but the Romans weren't the first to name the galaxy. It was the Greeks, and the name that the Greeks gave it translated to Milky Circle, but it was based on Greek myth because... Uh, Zeus brought his son Hercules home for Hera to breastfeed while she was sleeping. Hera did not like Hercules, mainly because the child was half mortal, <laughs> of course, um, and was the result of one of, of Zeus's affairs. When Hera awoke, she quickly pushed Hercules away, which caused a few drops of milk to spill into the night sky. Oh, that's how the galaxy So it's happens. breast milk. Exactly. It's I not will let no others. mortal touch my nipple. Well, depending on Half who mortal. was talking about Hera, because I'm sure that some people back in the day were like, oh, what a cow, you know? But like, uh, in terms of like the animal, no. Right. It's just like, it's just boob milk. It's just boob milk. Which I feel like would be a boob better name milk. for the what galaxy. <laughs> boob milk. We're all, we're all just, we're all just, we're not stardust, we're all just boob, boob milk. But milk. like, imagine you're stargazing with like your kids and you're like, this is the bo boob milk galaxy. Yeah. I feel like that would go over well. I like the idea. I think we should rename. Which explains why all astronomers are thirsty. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Put a hit out on astronomers this week. But that's not the only nope. thing we're going to do, because i got a lot today. Uh, and the first thing is on my list of teasers. I built that up, but then I forgot what the first thing I was going to say was. Sorry. <laughs> is that we have a new clothing line coming out. What? Yes! We're yes. all weird stuff. We that's what recognize some of it on us, but it's actually a first for us. And I'm going to tell all the mythical beasts why. And there's also a trailer that comes with this clothing collection. Are we gonna watch the trailer? And we're gonna watch it. Ah! It's gonna be great. Ooh. That's coming up. Um, also, on a lower note, this is, I have to really, I'm going to my sad, emotional place. Oh, that'd be your lower it, voice. It seems like your regular <laughs> voice. So. I mean, it didn't change much. <laughs> we had an intervention happen this week in oh. the office. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we do taped not it. know what you're talking We've, about. Exactly, we filmed the intervention, so we'll get to see it. Seems a little inappropriate, but we did it anyway. So that's okay. also coming. Okay. Um, but first, mm. this week there were a lot of noodles on the show. Yeah. So many noodles. You noodles. were throwing noodles so hard. So little everywhere. Time. So many noodles. So little time that we had to cut a noodle. We had to cut a noodle. Cut a noodle. <laughs> it, that's not a euphemism for anything. It's not a euphemism for anything. Um, Don't so, laugh at it like it is. Who so cut the noodle? This. Rejected GMM snack is a whole lot of noodles in one place, and there's a word the internet likes to use for that. Noodle town. <laughs> it's, a, it's noodle town time. <laughs> Look, we're here, and the word I was looking for was mukbang. Oh, <laughs> yes, but it feels like noodle town. <laughs> noodle town, indeed. That's definitely what it looks Welcome like. Welcome to noodle town. So what we have here is various different iterations of uh, Indonesian noodle called Indomie, Indo like Indonesia, and me means noodle. Oh, so this is like Indonesian noodles. It's like me town. All right, do I get to throw a dart? Um, no, <laughs> no darts. I'll just, I'll just use my chopsticks. So, 
One of the reasons that we rejected this from the list was because these are all instant noodles, but David has assured me this is like the official food, basically. Right, David? Official, official food of official... Indonesia? That is correct, yeah. <gasps> Indomie instant noodles, onion chicken. Mmm, oh. this is gonna get all over. I can already see it. You got a spoon here, though. You can use your... You don't want to get too much, we got to pace ourselves. When you go into Noodle Town, you got to obey the speed limit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got oh, it? Oh, Lord. <laughs> no, I see this ending not, very poorly. I'm not getting anything. Um, Davin, do you know, is it, would noodles? it be insulting if I asked, like, because, I mean, ra instant, this reminds me of instant ramen. Is it a different type of noodle? I mean, it's technically an, an instant ramen. It's the same thing. Um, that's a little spicy. Those onions and those chickens got a little kick to it. Noodle down. You're dripping on my foot. Sorry. You're dripping on my foot <laughs> as opposed to fun. off my foot. <laughs> I told you this was gonna end poorly. What's this? We've got <laughs> special chicken. Even I don't know what's special about it. Oh. oh. <laughs> the way that you gave a little attitude to that, yeah. I really liked it. I'm really not getting the special part. It's especially not notable. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Especially I can see that. Bland. I will say I still like it though. Vegetable flavor is a totally different color. You know how you do it? You, you. I'm not good at getting noodles. Noodles, I always find mm. if you're looking for the worst possible date food, go have pho or some kind of soupy noodle based dish. No, but see that's, it's great to take somebody to a messy meal on the first date because then you see, see what, what they're do. made out of. You see, yeah. you want to see how somebody slurps. I think it's a good second date for like <laughs> baby back ribs. Why did I give myself that? <laughs> um, well, this one, this one has lemon in it, which, yeah. which is turning this me. This is off. not good. You guys are really quick noodle eaters. This is not good. Something, something special in a bad way about this one. Mm. Now, why are all of these soupless? They're stir we ran, fried. We ran out of water. <laughs> it's California. Okay, so these are me goring. <laughs> See how I. <laughs> See how I already have some? This is different because we don't have instant wow. fried things. Uh, barbecue chicken flavor. Mm. Now, as a man from the Southern United States, I typically take issue when people try to imitate barbecue. Oh no. Mm. Well, it's not American barbecue, right? It's Indonesian barbecue. Boom! Mm. <laughs> it is pretty good. I like the way your voice echoes too. <laughs> I really like this. Is there a most popular situation? Are you are keeping that from us until we discover it? Uh, it's the most popular would probably be the original noodles, which you guys are gonna try next. Oh, fried noodles. Yep. Now I would, fried if you noodles. want to know what this one tastes like, it tastes kind of like um, if they it's took noodles spicy. and put like some spicy KC masterpiece on it. It really does Casey. taste like <laughs> like a She'll like a barbecue. Cool. Oh. <laughs> um. Wow, it is kind of spicy. Barbecue sauce. This is the OG original most popular flavor. Hmm. I mean, it's good. The only one so far that's not good is lemongrass. Right now, my favorite one is the onion chicken back. I do back enjoy here. the onion chicken. Because it was. But I also one. enjoy the the that one. Is this descriptive? Is this what they do in this is not what they do in mukbangs? I'll tell you right now. Okay, so I've got the spicy. I'm gonna wrap Whoa. it around my. That is deceptively spicy. Oh no! I'm not. I'm not getting it. I'm not getting the spiciness. Really? Like the. I think the first fried one was more spicy. No, it's spicy. It's definitely spicy. Mmm. It's good though. Okay, so definitively. Mmm. I am voting not for at all onion chicken. You are into the. You're into the wet noodle. I'm into the wet onion. My favorite is the barbecue chicken. Me too! <laughs> when eating like this, just off of just plates in front of you with other people, I prefer the non-soup. <laughs> the reason Link prefers the soup is because it's right in front of him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, mean, I can keep eating this one. Okay, mini, mini mukbang done in, in me town, noodle town. Yes. Um, and I'm really happy that it didn't get all over anyone's clothes except for Link's shoe that's not part of our collection. Nope. Because this is a first for us. If you are a member of the Mythical Society or you subscribe to our monthly newsletter, you got a little bit of a heads up, but today is the day that we launch our first ever Storywear collection. Yeah. Um, 
and it's called Post Apocalypse. Oh, I get it. Apocalypse. And so we we created this idea of storyware because we wanted to merge storytelling and a narrative with a clothing collection because it's very mythical of us. Yeah. And um, so there's a whole story behind this collection. We're each wearing some of the pieces, but on the site, there's a hat, there's bandanas, there's stick, bandana, there's stickers, there's more t-shirts, there's a, a denim button up, there's all kinds of things at mythical.store. Uh, but to premiere this whole collection, we partnered with our friends at Cartoona and we made an animated trailer. So check it out. The year was 2049. A group of celebrity influencers and their trusted canine companions boarded the intergalactic spaceship Embark-1 and prepared for launch. Tragedy struck when Mission Control's senior supervisor allowed his dog, Hugs Aldrin, to do the honor of pressing the launch button. Unfortunately, he was a bad boy, and he pressed the nuclear button instead. NASA and the U.S. Missile Command Center consolidated in 2025 due to budget concerns. The mishap caused a chain reaction that would wipe out the majority of the human race. A rough day, to say the least. While most humans did not survive the nuclear apocalypse, miraculously, a majority of dogs did. The nuclear fallout altered their biochemical makeup drastically, providing them with many of the abilities and physical features of humans. The result was a new breed of human-dog hybrid known as Hume Dogs. In honor of their fallen best friends, Hume Dogs assume the role that humans once held. As for the surviving humans, they assume the role of pets and are happier than ever being showered with unconditional love and affection. And the occasional belly rub. Post-Apocalypse, a mythical storywear collection, available at mythical.store. Ha 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 ha! Thank you, Cartoona. And you know what, this is a dream of mine. Oh, you know, I, I mean, well, I didn't Belly actually rubs, dream this. By a, by a large like it, dog Like with Jade it. and I having a sort of role reversal where I get to curl up in her lap and then get get a belly rub. Why are you looking like that's weird? Ain't nothing weird about that. Uh, well, okay. I think, as the, I think as the video just showed, it's pretty weird. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's kind of what I think is cool about it, <laughs> but. Uh, so do, I can't remember, did we name our guys because. Um, we, I mean, we have internal names. That is Happy Chompers. Because he's happy yes. and he's got chompers. I got happy chompers on my left pec and my left hip flexor. And I gotta say, I actually, those were the pants that I wore in the Shea pre-tape, but I didn't give like much of a tease to it. And I got several compliments uh, about about the pants and I wanted to say, they're coming. Where do I get those pants, Stevie? I, I'm particularly they're excited about the pants because they're so, they're very they're comfortable. so comfy. And they're not too they're baggy. So they're not, they're not, Plump feet, like huh. they're right. more like yeah, yeah which is also a dream of yours. Yeah, right. to have not plump feet pants, right. which is great. Right. Um, but there's whole that there's like a lot of different little things apart the uh, as part of the graphics that are like little Easter eggs, and so you should go over to mythical dot store yes. and check out the whole collection. Everything matches. All of the pieces could be put together into one epic piece of, you can layer the t-shirts, you know, like yeah. three t-shirts at once. You won't see the graphics I on mean, the t-shirts that are underneath. I don't necessarily recommend wearing all of them at the same time, but you know what, if you did that and took a picture of yourself, and we'd probably feature it <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's how it works. Um, okay, so again, going from a very happy topic that you can explore more at mythical.store over to a more solemn, serious point um, that I mentioned before, there was an intervention. Um, you know what, it's best if we just take a look. Hey, um, can we talk to you in the boardroom really quick? Yeah, what's up? Just, just want to talk. Okay. It'll be quick. Sure. Um, yeah, no, no worries. Just having a chat. Um, welcome. This is the boardroom you've been here before? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get all of your friends and just make yourself comfortable. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, thank you. There uh, you go, do you need some water? No, I'm, okay. I'm totally fine. Okay. Josh, we're so glad you're here. We wanted to all gather together to talk to you. Um, we love you and um, care about you as a coworker and a friend. I think we can say that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, both, both. Yeah, yeah, not just, 
not just a professional relationship. We, we care about you, and mm -hmm. but there's been an issue. Um, Kevin? Yeah, it's actually a very serious issue. Uh, Matt? Uh, well, it's, it's not about the breast milk in the fridge. That's fine. We don't care about that. I mean, is it, is it about the guinea pigs? No, the guinea pigs we like. The guinea okay. pigs are cool. Yeah, those are fine. Um, How do we break this to them? Um, we hate your mustache and we think it's terrible. It's creepy and it's bad and it needs to go. It's ugly. It's terrible. How do you not know? Do you not have a mirror? Kevin looks like a 16-year-old that went abroad to Spain for like three weeks and Kevin's came back with that. mustache looks good. We yeah, like Kevin's mustache. Yeah. We yeah. all are fine with Kevin's I like it too. Mustache. Every morning Matt tells me how handsome I look. I hate that Kevin is here. He's deflecting. It's a good mustache. Yeah, it's okay. Don't take Thanks. it personally. People say a lot of things. They act out. I've always hated Kevin. I mean, on a deep, visceral level, his work on the show, his just general aura, his wife most of all. He worked hard on that mustache. Yours is trash. You look like a trash person. Yeah, yeah. you look terrible. Like a person made of trash. How does your girlfriend feel about this? You Do still you? have a girlfriend? That's what I was saying earlier. I was asking, does he have a girlfriend still? I mean, they live together, so it's kind of hard to break up. She might just be biding her time. That makes like, sense. They're probably on the lease together. Yeah. I think oh, that's hard. yeah. We should actually reach out to support her, honestly. We should, yeah. Well, I have a phone number, so I'll call her later. Okay, yeah. If you saw someone with food in their teeth, what would you do? What we're trying to say is nobody likes you anymore. Nobody? Uh, it's not nobody. <sighs> it's just like nobody here. Nobody, yeah. Yeah. Also, it's not just us. By the way, we have a few comments we'd like to share with you if you don't mind. For example, Christopher Davis says, it throws off a real serial killer vibe. That's not good. Hmm. Uh, the Loki Toki said, holy God, man, shave that mustache. Zero were like. Yeah, Jenny Deshane says, please, for the love of God, make Josh shave that, and in quotes, mustache. And I want to be clear that she's not quoting anyone. Uh, that's her saying that it's barely a mustache. Oh. It's offensive. Eric Rafford said, if Josh walks within 100 feet of a playground, the police are going to be called on him with that mustache. It has happened before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not surprising. Josh's mustache looks like a mustard poop smear streak in a baby's diaper, and I think that was being a little bit too nice. You're awesome, Josh, but lose the mustache. You're reminiscent of a 13-year-old who thinks his peach fuzz lip is sexy. I just like that they said I'm awesome. Yeah, see, that's the problem. You're hearing what you want to hear, and you're ignoring the reality. It's probably very hard to hear with a mustache like that on your face. This guy says that it looks like uh, Josh fell into a pile of dirt and um, he had some glue on his uh, upper lip and he landed right on his upper lip and there's dirt on his face and he's ugly. Kevin, that's, that's just your opinion. You're just speaking from... When I see that mustache, it makes me want to pull all the skin off my face until I'm bleeding and dead. You guys stopped quoting people? Is this just you? No, no, mm -hmm. at Josh's dad said, hmm, just lost a son. That sucks. Yeah. Oof. Tough. This one just says, um, Josh keeps parking in my parking spot and it makes me late to meetings. Um, and I think someone with a mustache like that really shouldn't walk around with that much privilege. No one has assigned spots. It's not me, it's the comment. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Just... We don't know who it is. Well, obviously, I would never want to do anything to hurt any coworkers. I care about some of you, Wushu, most of all. This is about bodily autonomy and personal choice. And if I want to keep it, I'm going to, and you can't do anything about that. But if we were to do something like, say, shave it for a good cause, I think I might be open to that. I mean, as long as he shaves it, I don't care what he does. If we can raise $5,000 for No Kid Hungry, then Rhett and Link will shave my mustache on LTAT. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Yeah. That makes you feel better Throw about some it. money yeah. at something. Yeah, just stay away from playgrounds and like, yeah, that sounds good. When you said that made it seem like you had this plan before you came in here? I don't know what you're talking about. Is Wushu even alive anymore? This has been a very exhausting emotional day for him. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was laughing at the ending, which made me feel a lot better. Whoa, we actually like, all had to come together for a group hug, especially me and Kevin. I was just like, I love Kate, man. She's really great. I, yeah, so, so we, we all yeah, made that, up, that but that was... That was good, but he does have your girlfriend's number still. Yeah, you should, I mean, that was just for... Right, yeah, it was they all carpool. a joke. <laughs> just on the weekends at Carpool. <laughs> I don't okay. know where, but they do. All right, so so for the record, mm. you're uh, you're on board with raising money for for this is your idea, basically. Yeah, this is my idea. This okay. is my way to if someone Get really kind of comes at me, I like to dig down deeper. 
And so like back in November, people were like, that's a terrible mustache. And I'm like, yeah, let's see how terrible it can get. <laughs> so now I'm here and I don't want to shave it unless there is something on the line. Which yeah, yeah, yeah. $5,000 for a really great charity. I, I once had a mustache. Yeah? Yeah. I've seen it. <laughs> and but we didn't raise any money for anything. That's true. Missed yeah. opportunity. Mm. Here we go. But, but not only is Josh going to shave it, you are going to shave it yeah, we're gonna take, for Josh. That was also part side. of my stipulation. Oh, I don't shit. know why anymore. I just, I really, I like to be close to you guys. and I want. You know what that involves, it. right? It involves sharp objects that I would wield on your face. I mandated a Venus four blade women's safety <laughs> razor uh, just to prevent, like, I don't want you to straight shave me, you know? Right. It probably won't even remove um, any of the hair. It's yeah. just... For sure. So, do you want to talk a little bit about the charity that you chose? Because it's yeah. it's close to you, close it to your It is, heart. yeah. So, No Kid Hungry, uh, they're working to eliminate childhood hunger. They're part of uh, Share Our Strength, and you know, food security is something that I really struggled with growing up. Uh, growing up with a single parent, trying to make ends meet, and I was always on like the reduced cost, federally subsidized lunch program, which is really awesome that that exists. But uh, they would make you like go to a separate line basically to get mm -hmm. your lunch tickets and. I remember days where I was so embarrassed to even do that that I would like lie to my friends and be like, oh, I'm fasting because I'm training for a marathon. That's why I don't have any lunch today. And so that's actually a really huge issue. And so No Kid Hungry is making uh, breakfast and lunch part of the actual school day. So you get to school at, say, 7.30 or 8 a.m., and you would actually all convene for a breakfast. And then same thing with lunch. And uh, that also gives an opportunity to learn about cooking and making lunch part of a school curriculum, which is something that I believe really strongly in. And they also do educational programs for parents on how to, say, feed a family uh, healthily on a, a small budget. Mm. And so No Kid Hungry is something that's really, really close to my heart, and I've given to it when I can in the past, and now I'm trying to leverage people's hatred for my facial hair. <laughs> Get even more. I yeah. love it. So, Very great. strategic. Yeah. Thank you, so, Josh. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. If we raise $5,000 by March 23rd, we're going to shave your mustache. Mm -hmm. But I think there's also a little uh, anti-upping to do, which is if we raise $10,000. Oh, no. We know that's Rat not going to happen. shaves his beard. <laughs> no one wants that again. Yeah. If we raise $10,000... By my March 23rd, I think there's something else that we're... I was going to shave? There's something else we're going to be shaving, but I realized <laughs> yeah. how weird that oh, was. My head, my head was the answer. <laughs> yeah. We're going to shave my head, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, so yeah, $10,000, well, we shave that, my entire head. Oh, gosh. 15, you can shave anything you want. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. <laughs> why, why don't we make it, if we raise 10, we don't shave your head? That, I, because... That's no fun. No, dude. that's not near. <laughs> so you go to go to our socials. There's going to be a nice graphic here, right, Matthew? That says where you need to go. It's super um, nice. I really like the hashtag we're using, which is uh, hashtag uh, no stash hungry. So uh, uh, if you're going to talk about I it on it. social, no stash hungry. But is how the do you spell stash? Is it C H E? Did you say C H? He did start with the C. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm spelling the last part. The only part that is in question. S-T-A-C-H-E? Yeah. Oh, yes, correct. Because people will spell it wrong, like you're hiding something. No, no, we'll put it right here. This yeah. is the hashtag. -E. That's how you spell stash. Yeah, um, don't and, misspell And uh, guys, it's for a great cause and for great entertainment that Josh has provided. So please, <laughs> donate what Let you can see. and oh, let's you, make this happen. You look all right. You look all right. You ever shaved your head before? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's all I got today. So let's all together say yes. the final line. Until, Until next LTAT, keep, keep on BYMB. F-O-S-H-O. Not that loud, though. F-O-S-H-O. <laughs> like a whisper.